Hey everyone, this is Murray Cook, the original Red Wiggle and currently in the Soul Movers and you're listening to Influence with Jordan Elliott on WRHU. Yeah. Play your guitar with Murray. Play your guitar with him. Play your guitar with Murray. 88.7 FM Radio Hofstra University. You are listening to Influenced with Jordan Elliott. Today, I am thrilled to welcome a legendary musician who is currently writing and playing some groovy retro rock with the Australian soul band, the Soul Movers, but most of my peers will know him as a founding member of a children's band. Give it up for everyone's favorite Red Wiggle, Murray Cook. Murray, how are you doing today? <laughs> I'm well, Jordan. Nice to talk to you. I'm so glad to be here today. Uh, I'm sure that many interviewers say that they were fans of you, but I have to say that I might have been the biggest Wiggles fan of all time. Uh, I had a feather sword. I had the dancing and singing Murray guitar. I even had a big red car bed. Did you keep any of your Wiggles merch? Um, yeah, I've got some. I'm not. I'm not sure. We we kind of hold it at the the office, so it, it's all still around. We have like an archive, but uh, yeah, there was so much of it. It was kind of filling up my house. <laughs> I'm wearing my red today for the Wiggles. I noticed red yeah. Wiggles. But before we get too deep into your career with them, I want to hear about what you're up to right now. You're the lead guitarist for the Soul Movers, and you've even done some solo DJ gigs as DJ Murray. How is it different playing for adults versus playing for children? You use a lot of the same skills. On, I mean, when I do the DJ stuff, the audience is mostly, you know, Wiggles fans, probably about your age. Uh, so they're just, you know, thrilled that I'm there, and, and uh, we just have a good time and, uh, you know, just go a bit crazy. But, I, you know, I use a lot of the same skills. And then with the Soul Movers, um, similarly, I mean, it's all about entertainment and connecting with your audience. A lot of the audience are young people. Uh, they come along to see what I'm up to and, and uh, they go away loving the music and, you know, loving Lizzie's voice and the song. So it's been a great transition in, into the you know, later life, I guess. And, you know, I'm still involved with the Wiggles too, so that's that's pretty cool. And I've been jamming out to the new single, U-Turn, all day, uh, getting hyped to talk to you. It's, it's a great song. It's a rocker. Yeah, it's a rocker. <laughs> Um, in my spare time, I actually have my own DJ company. I often do proms, graduations, and I always try to sneak in some fruit salad or some hot potato. People, <laughs> people go crazy for it. Um, yeah. I know that you guys have done some shows here and there, but could we ever see a full Wiggles reunion tour across the world? Do you think that we'll see that ever? Look, it's quite possible. The way that we do things in the Wiggles world is, you know, just we just come up with an idea and then run with it. Um, Anthony's still really busy with the current lineup of the Wiggles, so he's still doing it. But I know, you know, there's a lot of interest over here in the States. Yeah, you never know. We'd, we'd love to do it. It's great fun. We have a great time doing it. I watched uh, some of the reunion concerts from recent. You guys still got it. And something else you guys recently did, Amazon Prime just released the documentary, The Hot Potato, The Story of the Wiggles. In the movie, you disclosed how you ended up to be the Red Wiggle. Can you share that story for us? Like a lot of things that happened in the Wiggles, it happened kind of organically, and you know, we just have an idea and run with it. And I'm not sure if it was my idea for us to wear the different colors, but I already had a, um, a, a red turtleneck shirt, so that was fine. And, and then Jeff had a purple one, and then Anthony and, and uh, Greg sort of uh, fought it out for the, the final colors. They had a a race in a department store for a blue um, shirt. And uh, Anthony, obviously, on that day, ran a bit faster. Greg said that no one really wanted to be the yellow one, but he, he came to love it, and he embraced it. <laughs> I'm rocking my red today, though, representing Murray, 88.7 FM, Radio Hoff University. If you are just tuning in, this is Influence with Jordan Elliott, and we are sitting with Murray Cook of the Wiggles and the Soul Movers. Now, Murray, back in the day, I went to at least four or five Wiggle shows. I could even be spotted in the DVD Wiggle Dancing Live in the USA, filmed in Wallingford, Connecticut. My first concert, still the most special concert to me. I watched it back recently as an adult, and it had me wondering about all the groupies that would show up. People really <laughs> loved you. Had to be crazy. Were there any bizarre fan interactions uh, that stood out to you? We'd get um, people calling the hotel and young mothers, and and um, and eventually we started traveling under under aliases which was pretty kooky people get enthusiastic and they and like a lot of things i think too because we talk directly to the camera people felt that we were talking to them when we're talking about the adults here the kids you know the kids felt that too but the kids don't do this sort of crazy stuff i was going to ask about what your family thinks about you being a celebrity but i actually found out in my research that 
your daughter is a bit of a celebrity in her own right. Yes, yeah, well, my daughter and my son both played basketball throughout their, their childhood and, and teen years. And, uh, you know, she was a pretty good basketball player, but she then had an injury and couldn't, um, couldn't play anymore, couldn't run. So she's um, got a slight disability. So she started t- playing wheelchair basketball. And uh, now she's the uh, captain of the Australian wheelchair basketball team. So uh, unfortunately, they didn't qualify to go to the Paralympics this year, but uh, she went to the Tokyo once. And, uh, you know, it's been a, a really great thing in her life. And, and you know, obviously, her mum and I are really proud of her. Something to be very proud of. Going back to the Wiggles, you guys featured so many huge guest appearances. Steve Irwin, Kylie Minogue, Joey Fatone, Keith Urban, and Al Roker, to name a few. Do you have a favorite celebrity encounter that you could share? Well, I think probably Steve Irwin because, you know, um, Steve kind of led the way for us a little bit in, in the U.S. You know, he he was an Australian who was very well known here and, you know, he spoke in his own voice. We we often wondered coming from Australia because we speak differently if we needed to change things for America. But Steve kind of showed us we didn't. And also when we got to work with him, he was just such a sweet, genuine, wonderful person. And, uh, you know, we were all heartbroken when he passed away. And, uh, we, you know, we became great mates. We actually played at Bindi, his daughter's birthday party and I think um, she's now in her mid-20s so um, you know um, we've had a long association with the Irwin but you know all of them Kylie Minogue is amazing she was doing a tour in Australia and we asked her to come and do a, a, some recording with us and a video and she did and she did it in like just a couple of hours just in between her sound check and her show that night so she was pretty amazing yeah. we also played with John Fogarty who um, older listeners and people who know classic rock of course was from uh, Creedence Clearwater and uh, you know for us as children of the 60s, Jeff and Anthony and I, uh, yeah, that was a huge thrill and, and uh, yeah, amazing to work with him. You know, he's in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, so, you know, that's about as big as it gets. You're always rocking out. You're always on tour, whether it be with the Wiggles, the Soul Movers, even doing your DJ stuff. But what do you do when you're not working or playing your guitar? Music's such a big part of my life, and that's why I continued it when I um, stopped performing with the Wiggles. You know, the touring with the Wiggles is just relentless and and, and, and and became a little bit of a grind, not the shows, but the actual touring. And so I just needed a break. As you get older, that's a bit difficult. So, but music is my my passion. It's my love. I always say it's my hobby and my career. So in my spare time, I'm still listening to music. I go and see bands play uh, locally. And when I'm traveling, I just love doing that. And so that's, that's my thing. I don't think I'd be half the music fan I am today if it wasn't for Greg, Anthony, Jeff, and of course, Murray Cook. Oh, thanks, Jordan. That, that actually makes me very happy. And I'm really proud of that legacy that we've left. It's like, I, I hear that from a lot of young people and um, that's, you know, one of the things we really set out to do. So I'm really happy to hear that. Yeah. 32 years, 30 million albums, 2 billion streams. You've influenced and brought joy to so many people, including me. Before we say goodbye, is there anything you'd like to leave with the now college aged Wiggly fans? Yeah, well, I'd love it if they checked out the soul movers, of course. And, you know, if they, um, if they love, what I did then, I think they'll love, you know, back in the day with the Wiggles, I think they'll love what I do now. You know, as you know, I'm, I'm in the US at the moment. We did try to get to New York. It's one of my favorite places in the world. So next year, we, um, you know, we're hoping to do some shows in Canada. So we might get down here too. So we'd love to see all your listeners come along. Murray Soul Movers will be touring out of Toronto, Canada mid-year. So be sure to follow them on socials and YouTube at Soul Movers Band. Thank you so much, Murray Cook, for being on the show. FM Radio Hofstra University. You are listening to Influence with Jordan Elliott. I will see you next time.